Casey, how do you always have such brilliant ideas for your videos? I don't always have a brilliant idea. If you were to reduce any one of my movies down to a single idea, you would find a perfectly mediocre idea. It's the execution that matters, never the idea. I started out analyzing this video in an effort to reduce it to a single idea to attempt to distill the perfectly mediocre idea. What I realized, however, is that this video, like so many of Casey's videos, is made up of many perfectly mediocre ideas. But none of that matters because of Casey's ability to execute. I'm talking about his ability to execute by using cinematography, music, and dialogue to make his ideas interesting. Here's the first mediocre idea. Can I just have one slice, please? Thank you. One dollar a slice of pizza. I would humbly say that the first 13 seconds of this video is really nothing special. There's not much going on here, but if you've ever been to New York City, you're probably familiar with the one dollar slice of pizza. Even though there's not much going on here with the idea or even the execution, Casey almost always starts his videos by immersing the audience in the setting usually with a time lapse, making sure that it's clear that this story takes place in New York City. The music that he chose for this next sequence is something that Casey does really well. He creates a vibe with how he wants the video to feel like, and he edits the video so that it ties into the beat or any changes in the music. This is an example of really good execution. That said, we're already 30 seconds into the video and the idea or purpose isn't really clear. For most YouTubers like me, that's a problem because most viewers are probably gonna click away. But because the execution is so good, the way the cinematography and music work together and because it's New York City, not to mention it's fucking Casey Neistat, viewers are willing to continue to watch. Casey finally tells us a little bit about the purpose of this video. My main motivation in doing this is I wanted like, I wanted an impetus, a reason to be making movies every day. Let's call this mediocre idea number two. Over the next minute, Casey goes for a run, which is mediocre idea number three. But just before he goes for a run, he checks in with his daughter. Good morning, Francine. This is another idea, number four, which he returns to at the end of the video. Back to the run. This sequence has many examples of good execution, which makes it interesting to watch. Starting with this point of view shot of Casey with just one sock on, and then there's two. Simple, but clever. Good execution. When he starts running, we hear the running app that he's using. He films his shadow, which is interesting. The shots of New York City make the run more interesting and the music is a continuation of what he used at the beginning of the video. And he frames this sequence with a shot of the running app with his run mapped out. A 7.16 pace? Oh, I'll take that. But the real execution, in my opinion, comes when the music stops, in Casey's in the room. elevator, and he points out that there's no hot water in his apartment. Matt. This is idea number five. And again, it's pretty ordinary. But then there's a quick cut of Casey getting into the shower. Oh, it's so cold. Which is another example of good execution. Maybe the best part of this video is the intro to the Q&A segment, which is mediocre idea number six. The execution is pure genius. The pacing, the music, the interesting shots with Casey walking up the middle of the street, seated at his desk, on top of a building, in the subway. It's just really interesting, but it's also perfectly executed. The second best part of this video is when Casey is about to launch into the Q&A and he says... Got my good mic up. Okay. I never actually plugged in the good microphone. So the sound you're hearing is from the onboard microphone, which is terrible and super echoey. I'm sorry, it was a mistake, but I, I'm not going to re-record all these questions and answers. That's ridiculous. I love it because he's right. That would be ridiculous. It would be a waste of time. But by pausing the video to give this explanation, it keeps things light, keeps things moving, and it's another example of really good execution. So let's call this Q&A segment mediocre idea number seven. By the way, I love this idea so much that I attempted to use it in one of my videos. Check it out. This scene is Questions and answers are so interesting because Casey is so candid. There's nothing rehearsed, or at least 
it certainly doesn't feel like it's been rehearsed. And I think when Casey replies to the question, how do you always have such brilliant ideas for your videos? I think he's 100% honest. I don't always have a brilliant idea. If you were to reduce any one of my movies down to a single idea, you would find a perfectly mediocre idea. It's the execution that matters, never the idea. So far, this video illustrates exactly that point. Execution is greater than the idea. For the final question, someone asked Casey if he can do a kickflip. Mediocre idea number eight. Not surprisingly, Casey successfully lands a kickflip. And immediately, the video moves on to the next scene. This is yet another example of solid execution. By cutting away as soon as he lands the kickflip, throwing in some music, changing the scene, time lapse, there's a feeling of accomplishment. There's some satisfaction simply because he landed a kickflip. Candace just called me. I broke the bed last night in the baby's room, so I have to run home now, fix the bed, and then I'll come back to the office. Another sequence, another mediocre idea. This time it's about a broken bed. The shot of the drill is interesting because he hits the trigger a couple times. He grabs some screws. There's a real sense of purpose, as though he's on a mission. Like the kickflip, we feel a real sense of satisfaction watching Casey fix the bed. Then we return to idea number four, Casey and his daughter, which, by the way, is the only idea that weaves itself from the beginning to the end of the video. By my count, there are nine perfectly mediocre ideas in this video, which on their own are not very interesting. In fact, even as a whole, they're not very interesting. But because of Casey's creativity and ability to use cinematography, music, and dialogue to make ordinary ideas worth watching, most of his videos like this one have more than one million views. So I think the message is clear. Execution is greater than the idea. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right